Johnny Hockey has a huge heart. He joins us right now coming off of the 7th annual Johnny Gaudreau Hockey Tournament, uh, golf tournament, sorry. That's different. Uh, hockey and golf, two separate things. But what is constant between the two, you have a huge heart on the ice, you have a huge heart off the ice, especially for kids and school and raising funds for that cause. Why is that so near and dear to your heart? Yeah, I mean, uh, the school I went to, Gloucester Catholic, uh, you know, I went there, my brother went there, my sister went there. My brother's the coach of the high school team there. So um, it was a lot of fun that day, but uh, it's important to try to give back to uh, the school that uh, kind of helped build you and make you become who you are today. And, um, you know, private schools are getting expensive uh, nowadays, so we, we're trying to make as much money as we can every year and uh, make more money every year. Tremendous putt there, Johnny. We call you <laughs> yeah. Johnny Hockey. We might have to call you Johnny Golf, too, right? Yeah, it took uh, four or five takes, but... <laughs> There you go. And no one, no one yeah. at home watching this knows the difference, so it's all good. Um, so yeah, you're right. How was it? How'd you, how'd you do out there? And uh, who was dialed in? How was the day overall for you? Yeah, it was good. Won my own tournament. Won my own jersey. Out of boy. Out of boy. Yeah, I brought. Uh, I got one of my buddies to come out. He's like a two two handicap. Uh, I think he went like 10 or 11 under by himself. So I uh, won the tournament uh, thanks to him. But um, just a great day. Uh, a lot of people. You know, uh, old friends, uh, my parents' old friends, uh, you know, people I haven't seen in a while get to come out and, um, you know, spend the day out there and, and for, it's for a great cause. So, uh, you know, it, uh, it makes it to be a special day. Well, we got one of the best hockey players in the world. Uh, we got to talk a little bit about hockey. The first year in Columbus, uh, a, a bunch of different changes. I think uh, when I look at the Columbus Blue Jackets, I think about the D Provorov, the acquisition of Severson as well. How excited are you about the upcoming season? A new coach, Wierenski, Line A, guys that uh, are going to get their health back, plus the addition of a couple of defensemen in Provorov and, and, and Severson. Yeah, I thought uh, Yarmo did a great job this offseason. Uh, picking up two uh, really good defensemen that are going to help our team uh, big time where, uh, you know, we definitely need to play a lot better at in our own zone. Um, that was obviously, uh, you know, tough on our, on our team last year is our, in our own zone and um, picking up 2D like that is going to help us uh, tremendously. And, um, you know, obviously a new coach coming in. So uh, I'm not the new face anymore. So uh, Babs is the new face, but, um, you know, it's going to be great. You know, we're going to get everyone in there together and, and kind of start from scratch there and, and uh, try to build a, a team that's, uh, you know, a winning team there. Kaz mentioned the new coach. You mentioned the new coach. That new coach is a big name, Mike Babcock. How about your mm -hmm. feelings, your thoughts going into working with him with the Columbus Blue Jackets? Yeah, I'm excited. Excited uh, to get out there with him and, uh, you know, uh, start working with him. Obviously, he's uh, had a great track record throughout his career and, um you know, I've heard uh, great things about him on the bench. So, um, you know, I'm really excited to, uh, you know, get out there, kind of get to know him a little bit and, and uh, you know, hopefully, uh, you know, kind of build a relationship with, uh, with him and our team and, and get going from there. Got a big draft pick coming in, too, and Adam Fantilli, uh, Michigan guy. You guys have a few of those already. Um, what do you know about him? Have you talked to him much? Uh, what are your thoughts on having Adam Fantilli as a part of the organization? Yeah, yeah, great, great player. Obviously, he's going to, He's going to help us out a lot this year. Um, you know, haven't gotten to talk to him too, too much. I know how uh, hectic it can be on, on draft day after you get drafted and a million texts, this and that. So, you know, I'll get to meet him a little bit more when we get out there. But um, obviously, uh, I've heard uh, tremendous things about him and heard he's a great, great young player. And uh, he's a college kid, too, which makes it even better. <laughs> Your uh, NHL career had only known the Calgary Flames, and then you, of course, uh, get the big deal with Columbus. What was the transition year like for you, and how forward are you to kind of putting that all in the past and then starting fresh mm -hmm. this year, knowing that the Calgary thing has been put to bed? Yeah, yeah, last season was uh, it was hectic, obviously. Um, you know, uh, moving to a new city, new organization, new team, new teammates, uh, fresh baby on the way. I think we had her in the uh, end of September, September 30th there. So just a lot of change last season and, uh, you know, uh, a lot of change off the ice, which sometimes it makes it difficult to kind of, you know, get your head in the game there when so many different things are going on. But, um, you know, I'm glad to, you know, got the first season under my belt and, um, 
you know, pretty much know most of the guys in the organization. We had a lot of call-ups last year, so got to know a lot of players. And um, so it's uh, it's going to be a lot easier coming in, you know, my second year here and getting, you know, knowing everyone and throughout the whole organization. And uh, I think it's going to be real helpful for me. Congratulations on that new addition. I want to tell you a story. I once sat at this table with a guy named Scott Stevens. He's in the Hall of Fame. And he had to hold me back because he was talking about your on ice vision and your ability to have a sense of where everybody is. He said it reminded him of Wayne Gretzky. I almost got up on the desk. I was so fired up because you're American and you know how I favor the American players. <laughs> I was going nuts. How about your reaction hearing a Hall of Fame defenseman with Scott Stevens' resume yeah. comparing you to Gretzky in terms of that hockey IQ? Yeah, I mean, uh, never take for granted, uh, you know, people say nice things about you. So um, I kind of just try to, you know, think about it, keep it in the back of my mind and, you know, go out there every single night and, and uh, play as hard as I can and try to make plays and uh, try to get the fans up off their feet and, uh, you know, try to help my team win games. So um, to hear something like that, obviously, uh, you know, you never forget things like that. And uh, it's a special thing to hear from, uh, you know, a really good hockey player. And nobody's ever called me the Wayne Gretzky of being a hockey analyst, so <laughs> I don't have anything in common with you on that one. But uh, I do have a couple young kids, so we do have that in common. Uh, what's what's going on the rest of the summer? Obviously, uh you know, new dad stuff too. Um, but what else you guys got as a family going on this summer? Uh, yeah, not much, you know, kind of just uh, enjoying the rest of the summer here. Uh, spend as much time as we can with our families because uh, once the season gets rolling, you, you don't, you tend to see them a little less throughout the year. And um, like I said, you know, just uh, spend as much time as I can with, with uh, my family, my wife's family, and obviously work out and skate uh, a lot more, uh, kind of get geared up for the season uh, coming up here. And, and then, uh, you know, season's right around the corner, so it's, a, it's, a, it's an exciting time right now. Jackets fans, we're very excited to see you in year two and the entire Jackets team. Thanks so much for joining us. Thanks for having me, guys.